In the year 25... You are watching The Daily Decrypt, and that's probably because you like currency competition. Me too! I'm Amanda B. Johnson, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. Woman can survive... In the 24 hours since The Daily Decrypt reported that the sixth of a thousand classic block had been mined, eight more such blocks have been found, bringing the total to 14. These eight blocks were mined by the pools KNC Miner and Slush, which make up roughly 9% of Bitcoin's hash rate combined. Also in the last 24 hours, a surprise announcement was made from the world's strongest hashing power, F2 Pool, which currently holds about 26% of the Bitcoin network's hash rate. F2 Pool's administrators are now allowing their miners to cast votes on whether they support Core's 1 megabyte block size cap or Classic's 2. In other words, they're taking a vote on whether to fork. But why this switch? Just last week, a representative from F2 Pool signed an agreement with some of Bitcoin's core developers, Blockstream employees, that they would support Core. But apparently the agreement was not on the up and up, and a known representative from F2 Pool has posted in the Bitcoin Talk forums, We feel we've been cheated. I don't know how we can trust Blockstream anymore in the future. But feeling cheated may not be the only reason, or even the real reason, that F2 Pool has decided to change its gears on Classic. Some on Reddit are pointing out that F2 Pool may just now be realizing that they need to compete with other, smaller pools which are offering their miners a vote. In simpler terms, if F2 Pool doesn't want to lose miners to, say, Slush, it will have to offer what Slush offers, a vote. Sponsored shout-out from The Core Report, which is an update on the happenings within the NXT Asset Exchange. On March 2nd, a brick-and-mortar furniture store will issue shares in its company via tokens called Cofint, set to pay monthly dividends in Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin will be accepted for the Cofint tokens at nxtcrowd.fund, and you can learn more about the NXT Asset Exchange at coremedia.info. It's important to note that F2 Pool is still running all core nodes. They've reportedly not yet switched any to Classic, but the operative word there may be yet. If F2 Pool is genuinely feeling the competitive pressure of other pools offering miners a vote, they'll have to begin offering support for Classic, if indeed any of their miners want it. Whew! There is your Bitcoin saga for the day. Just when you thought currency competition couldn't get any more exciting. Shame on you. Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, a delegated proof-of-stake currency with three-second block times. BitShares recently hard-forked its blockchain to support confidential transactions, a capability which will be available in the next versions of its light and full client wallets. You can try the BitShares client out yourself with no download by visiting openledger.info. And follow the Daily Decrypt on Twitter, why don't you? We've recently begun uploading previews of our videos right within our tweets to give you the opportunity to have a little taster before you decide whether you'd like like to dig on in. We are the Daily Decrypt. Go figure. Have a good day. In the year